here. <laughs> hang on, hang on, Clay. Don't say anything yet. Don't say anything yet. Yeah. He's here, and I gotta like, I gotta play with his hair. It's obligatory. I love it's so hair. long. You should get over I there and do a ponytail. It. Hey, Lori. Good morning, <laughs> Placentia. How are you? Good morning. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. It's old home week. Clay Aiken's with us. Where did you say she was from? Uh, All she's right. From Plas- Placent- placentia. Placenta? That's what you no, said. Placentia. Okay. Placentia. No, no, placentia. I'm pretty sure you said placenta. I, I know the difference between a placentia and a placenta. You do. Yeah. Yes, you do. My buddy just had a baby. My yeah, buddy so just had a baby yesterday. Come on. Did they bury it in the yard? Because that's it. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not the baby. The placenta. Oh, the placenta. <laughs> Not the baby. I'm, even the claymates got pissed for a second. Oh. No, um, the placenta. You're from the south. Yeah, you have to what, bury the placenta in the yard. But you now you put it in the freezer. I think you put it in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on for a second. In the freezer. I'll tell you why after the break. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the poor girl called in. She hadn't gotten to speak yet. All Lori wants to do is go to a Jingle Ball concert. That's all she wants. <laughs> Lori, you call it 102. You're going. Enjoy. All right. All right. Thank you. Now, just... It's just so we can go okay, back to this before right. before we get to the many things that Clay Aiken's doing. <laughs> uh, the when you have a baby, you cl- you clip the uh, placenta. Okay, no, no well, you actually don't that clip it. it actually just comes out. It comes out. What is it? Okay. Umbilical cord is you. That's the, what I'm thinking. When the baby's growing in your belly, it is in a bubble of fluids and and all kinds of nutrients. Can you, you have a diagram? Degrees of diagram. Okay, <laughs> so we're starting there. Okay, that is when when. When the the baby is attached to the umbilical cord, and then there's a bunch of stuff attached I to that. I thought the placenta and the umbilical cord were the same thing-ish. Well, they are-ish because they're connected. But all you right. give birth to the baby, they cut the cord, and then all the stuff that was keeping Gosh. that baby sustained goes... Well, what's the water? In a rush. The water is just the sac around the baby. Oh, the, God. Ellen, your the words The placenta are just, is the actual nutrients going into that umbilical cord, so feeding is, your baby. Is the water different than the placenta? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But the water you, is the protective sac of fluid, and the placenta stop is... Stop using the, the word sac. <laughs> <In> the, <laughs> Go ahead, Clay. In the South, we bury them in the yard. But Why do you put it in the freezer? Why do well, you put it in the yard? I don't know. It's a thing. <laughs> it's like fertilizer. It's nutrients, right? Yes, it is. Well, you can you can freeze it, and then in case you ever need are really hungry, what? Uh, no, but if you ever need it for your for your baby, you Aiken's growing dogwood out. trees with the placenta. <laughs> you can well, it's fertilizer because it's just it's pure nutrients, and that's what your. How ba- do you know so much about babies, Claire? Yeah. Hmm? I'm not allowed to speak about because that. because when you said when it comes out, it goes whoosh. How did you know how it feels? Because that's exactly I how didn't it say feels. how it felt. It goes it's whoosh. This, I said gush. Oh, can gush. we talk about the Clay Aiken Holiday Symphony Tour? <laughs> I mean, can we please? I can't, you know, with, with all due respect to my friends who just had a baby named Jet yesterday. With two T's. This is all I, the baby talk I can take. I can't handle it. That's a long, skinny baby, 7 pounds, 21 inches. <laughs> That's a long, skinny is baby. Is it a skinny baby? Mm-hmm. How much, do you know how much you weighed when you were born? I think about? I was really small, mm-hmm. like six something. Oh, that is small. How you been? I'm okay. He's got long hair now. I love the long hair, Clay. Thank you. I don't really know what to do with it. Do you it. get good response? Um, not all the time. Oh. I like it. But I really never have, so... <laughs> oh, I think it's cool. That's oh, not true. Uh, it's not as easy to do when it's short and you can just wake up and... Mm-hmm. You look totally different. You look, I was like, when I met you, you looked different. Then when you're on Idol, you look different. Now you look like a totally different guy. Yeah, I'm trying to finally get to decent, presentable well, you're, one of these days. You're, you're almost, what are you, 28 years old now? Yeah. You're growing weeks. up on us. That's what mm-hmm. it is. Clay can scroll. He's almost mm-hmm. 28 years old. I know. And are you still, still living old. in you live in North Carolina? Mm-hmm. Now, why is it you choose to live in North Carolina? You, I mean, a lot of your business is here in Hollywood or New York. Why do you choose to live in North Carolina? It's just quieter, and you know, family's there, and and I'm away around. There's no traffic. I don't know. I just feel at home there a little bit more. And Clay's got a, an album out. Um, it's got all kinds of covers, everything from one of my favorite, my first concert ever, Richard March. He does right here, waiting for you. <gasps> Come on, oh, that's yeah. your favorite, your first concert What's song. the first concert I ever went yeah. to was Richard Marks. What was your first concert, do you remember? I don't. I think it was probably James Taylor or something like that. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I've don't, never been a big concert goer. Mm-hmm. No? No, just mine. Well, <laughs> which is fair. Uh, which but I you, encourage everyone to, to do as well. A thousand different ways <laughs> is uh, this album. Why did you decide to do all these covers? Well, it was really Clive's idea. Yeah, Clive Davis? Clive Davis. Um, mm-hmm. He wanted to kind of pay tribute to all these love songs and... And uh, and so he told us to go find the best love songs for the past thirty years and and remake them and kind of let us do them our own way. So. These are songs to make out to. Yes, because you love me. Uh, you, you do Journey. You do Celine. You do. Richard we even do Lawrence. Dolly Parton. Come on, here you come My again. My baby takes a oh, morning really? train. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not Dolly Parton. No, it's not Dolly Parton. <laughs> oh, that should have been. <laughs> Who sings my baby? T- Sheena Easton. Well, you should do some Sheena Easton. Uh. 
Of course, Dennis right out of the gate with that one. Uh, she's cheating. <laughs> All right, there's no prize. <laughs> Is Clyde going to team you up with Whitney on anything? Oh, Lord, no. No? I don't think so. I heard he was. Mm. Really? No. <laughs> but it, seem, it seems like an interesting... I mean, what a headline. Come on. Clay Aiken and Whitney be. Houston with the comeback. You could help her with your comeback. You know, get her through her, knitter, her jittery nerves. Her jittery nerves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a tongue twister day today. How would you say you're different from Whitney Houston? Um, not in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 943. We're going to come back with Clay. You can email Ryan directly. Ryan at KIISFM.com. You're on incredible. 7 Kiss FM. Being thoroughly entertained by Clay Aiken at 947. <laughs> Something about this conversation makes me say, I don't want to go at 10. <laughs> Let's stick around. I want to do the extended version. That's a lot of pressure on me. No, I'll come on. You get 12 minutes to fill. You'll be great. Oh, Lord. Um, so tell me about this holiday thing you're doing. You're doing a, the Clay Aiken Holiday Symphony Tour. Most of these dates I'm looking at are on the East Coast. Yeah, well, we didn't do, um, we didn't do a regular Christmas tour this year. Yeah. Uh, we decided to go out where, um, where symphonies were. Mm-hmm. And now my nose really itches from whatever he... Yeah, it was anti-shine. Um, it was anti-shine, apparently. So. <laughs> for the radio. I have a face for radio. Um, the, uh, we decided to go out where... where Orchestras were, and uh, we're just going to do the Christmas show with with full orchestra, which is exciting for me because I've never really done a show with a complete full orchestra, like a whole bunch of people. And this is uh, primarily though on the East Coast, yeah. Right, those are where the, that's where people called us at first. You know, we only have three weeks, so we did a first come first serve, and that worked easily. What's the deal with these uh, claymates of this clay nation and these people who uh, follow you everywhere you go? I mean, these are die hard fans. If I say anything slightly sarcastic about you, why would you do that? Because you know it's all in good fun. We're, we're I don't think it's fun. <laughs> I told you he's getting too serious. He's taking life way too seriously. He's serious. He did his face. I'm okay. He's, by the way, this guy's heard everything. Not, I mean, not just All from right. me, but like, out of the two people in the universe, uh-huh. we get our fair share of uh, jokes in the monologue about us, and we're the butt of the joke. That is true. Yeah. Uh, I but, kind of appreciate it more when it is about him yeah, than really? when it is about me. I mean, I like you, but yeah. I'm happy for you to take the hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I watched, you, I watched you take plenty of heat on your press tour. Well, you know, that's what you do. I mean, you and, how about you and Diane Sawyer? We're buddies now, though. No way. You are? Yeah, we are. Wait a minute, let me take you back to the moment. You know what? Forget it. It's oh, what I do. He's got it queued up. Life is nobody's business anymore. Period. It's, it's one thing to try to be open and talk to people and try to share as much as I can. And, I, and of course, I want I wanted to do that. But at some point, it becomes just really rude, you know? You think I'm rude for asking? I don't understand why you want to know. I don't understand why it's, I don't understand why it's any of your business. I'm not spending my time with this anymore. This is a waste of my time. All right, now that's funny how you had it queued up and ready. Oh, we have like this is this is all he was wanting to do all day. We have all morning. He was ready for this. He didn't even have to turn. Yeah, I just I talked about your tour and that other stuff just to warm you up. Just to warm up. (laughs) This is what I really wanted to go for. No. I thought it was a bit uncomfortable when she started asking you questions about your sexual orientation, and and that's what that was in reference to, yeah? Um, Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's kind of something that we've all become used to, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I've become used to it. People ask me three times a day. Right. And that's just in the studio. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) But Clay, after that conversation with Diane, did you feel like, okay, maybe I should touch base with her and clear the air? Um, No, not really. She... um I think everybody has a job to do, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't appreciate their jobs necessarily all the right. time, but you know, you do what you need to do. And she's always been really supportive. So uh, she kind of did. I kind of knew what I was getting into. And mm. well, how you said you become friends, or you you sort of uh, patch things up? How'd you do that? Um, I don't know. We we didn't necessarily pa- we didn't have a fight. Good uh, lord, I didn't hit the woman. No, I know, but it was she it didn't was hit an, me. I mean, look, it was kind of it was an awkward it was moment. Awkward. I but the camera stopped, and then it was just business And then as we usual. hugged, hey, and you're great. made out, and everything was good. <laughs> That'll show her. <laughs> she a good kisser? <laughs> so there's no issue between the two of you? None at all. Now, you and I, after today, hmm, we'll see. <laughs> with, your tr- with your trigger finger over there. Let me take Clay, you back to the moment. Hold on. Here you you go. know when your next record's out, you'll be licking at Ryan's ankles, getting back on the air, getting in good. With all due respect, Ellen Kay. What? Clay Aiken is not going to lick my... <laughs> Hello? The figure of speech Licking like a dog. sack. Oh, she's got a dirty mouth. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> what Nothing's mean? wrong. You've never heard that term before? Where never. No, never. Never in my life. Licking at your heels? You've never heard that? Nipping. What, just, nipping. Oh, that's nipping. the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jack Frost at your nose. He doesn't lick your nose. He's nipping at your nose. <laughs> Well, I stand corrected. I take the morning train. 
Baby. Sheena Easton. Mm-hmm. <laughs>